Hello, everyone. My name is Bridget Tomek, a clinical specialist with the Gina Moto Cambrook. Today, we will be presenting power pack meals and cooking tips for maximum nutrition with Lynn. I will turn it over to Allison Traeger, one of our territory manage managers, to present Lynn. Thank you, Bridget. I'm happy to introduce Lynn Palella, co-founder of Aginomoto Cambrook and director of product development. Cambrook was born out of the love for her two children that have PKU, Cameron and Brooke. She wanted to create foods that were nutritious, great tasting, and similar to mainstream food items that are found in the grocery stores today. Lynn has created over 100 different low protein foods to help change the way that people with protein metabolism disorders experience their diet. Lynn is also an advocate for the metabolic community and lobbies for the Medical Nutrition Equity Act to ensure that public and private insurance covers medically necessary foods for children and adults with digestive and inherited metabolic disorders. I am excited to have Lynn here today to help us learn new things about low protein foods. Welcome Lynn Paylella. Uh, thank you, Allison and Bridget. Um, so my journey, my, excuse me, my journey that would lead to the founding of Canberra began 28 years ago with my most important role and title, and that's mom. I am proud to say that I am mom to uh, Cameron and Brooke, my two youngest adult kids who have classical PKU. Um, and not to be left out, they have an older brother, Bryce, who does not have PKU, but has a, um, he's been a huge supporter of his younger brother and sister. Um, I'm delighted to welcome you to be part of our family journey, too. Here are the agenda items that I will cover in today's presentation. So as a leader and global innovator of clinical nutrition to improve the lives of people living with PKU, like my kids and those with related metabolic disorders, the company was founded on this premise. It was my personal goal as Canberra's food product developer to continually introduce new therapeutic options that offer variety, flavor, nutrition, and that trends with mainstream innovation. This includes delicious looking and great tasting products with ease of use and which provide customer satisfaction. Um, since 2000, Canberra has developed over 100 low protein food items in 15 different food categories. That innovation comes from many sources mainstream trends. Of course, my kids are a guiding light, but the family community too, who has direct communication with me and with our customer service team, they too provide a huge inspiration for what's next. On a personal note, when Cameron and Brooke were young, they would come home from school asking why they can't have such products as Kraft macaroni and cheese, hamburgers and hot dogs, or other such mainstream products like their friends. They were my driving force in the early days, so I responded by getting to work on a camera version of each of those kinds of products that would quickly introduce their low-protein mac and cheese and hamburgers and Brooklyn dogs with accompanying buns, and I dedicated the product name to my kids which they were not too fond of. <laughs> but back in those days, if I had chaperoned a class trip, my product development projects would come with me and I would sample every kid on the bus. Why? Because kids are painfully honest and they provided the exact feedback I needed. I remember the days when my kids got teased in school for drinking stinky milk. I vowed to change that too which would lead to the development of the first glycomacropeptide product, which I will touch on in my last slide. But I made a promise to my kids and to their metabolic peers that they would never, ever have to be embarrassed to eat their low protein foods in public. And in fact, they could even share their foods with their friends because they are that good and they are gonna be that normal. Anyway, newest, to our category based on customer requests, a bid by Cameron and Brooks' former dietitian, Fran Rohr, as well as our expansion into different parts of the world, 
is a shelf-stable line of powdered goods. This would lead with a line of plant-based meat and seafood alternative products. At first, I thought, God, this is going to be tricky because as a mother first, products that offer nourishment is so important to me. How can I accomplish making meat alternatives and fish alternatives in a powder form? But, you know, sparing you the details, the result of our first powdered product in the meat um, alternative uh, category, I'm proud to say, are plant-based, and it includes numerous um, natural ingredients such as dehydrated vegetables and herbs, all with the versatility of real ground meat. Uh, and when mixed with just two ingredients, water and oil. We've also expanded into powdered dessert mixes with cookies, gingerbread, amazing chewy brownies, and most recently, well-made, which is the outcome of Nutricia discontinuing the beloved well-planned baking mix in which numerous recipes and cookbooks were produced by Virginia Shewitt, a metabolic dietitian that began her journey um, as the first low-protein guru in the mid-1970s. Based on the Well-Planned Replacement Project Contest initiated by National PKU News last summer and studied by them along with a group of families in the Cook for Love organization, um, our development was chosen as the option that best replaced Well-Planned in those recipes. We now introduce Well-Made that works with all those recipes and cookbooks that are still avail uh, available to your family today. And I believe that National PKU News um, has copies um, of those, those early recipe books. So what is in our baking mixes and why are they different? I want to touch on this. Um, they are a pre-mixed proprietary blend of starch flour to allow you a more moist and consistent texture in your personal um, low-protein baking and cooking creations. Cambrook has four baking products of which I would like to share some of the varying differences with you. So Cambrook's um, baking mix represents the first baking product that we introduced back in 2000. This is in the first column. Um, among several ingredients contained in our baking mix, the most important is fat, which provides flavor and texture. Also included in the blend is Zanzan gum, which helps to bind together your dough and batter for the best possible results regarding the texture of your finished recipe. And then in the second column is wheat starch. Um, wheat starch is not a blended mix. It is pure starch. There's no leavening. There's no fat, bulking agents, or binding ingredients. And because it has been stripped of all the gluten, which provides the sticky, gummy, stretchy part of normal flour, that is substituted in Cambrook's baking mixes, it will require such additions to enable it to perform in your baked goods. The best recipe that I've made with the wheat starch um, is the popular wheat starch pizza dough, and it can be found in the recipe section on our website. And then there's Mix Quick in the third column. Um, mix Quick is an all-purpose batter mix, which was inspired by the very popular Bisquick and developed to mimic the self-rising uh, properties that has literally hundreds of uses. Cambrook has dozens of recipes on our website to help guide your creativity, but equally as good or actually maybe even better is the Bisquick.com website, which offers literally hundreds, hundreds of recipe ideas. For this product, think pancakes, waffles, biscuits, coffee cakes, casseroles with baked in biscuits, all by adding just a single, uh, a single liquid ingredient, such as water, non-dairy milk, broth, juice, et cetera, to make the magic of this product come to life. If you're following a recipe from bizquick.com and the recipe calls for an egg, Please remember that Mix Quick is, is self-rising, and for that reason, you can eliminate the egg and replace with approximately two to three tablespoons of liquid. And then finally, in the last column is the well-made uh, baking mix, mix, which is similar to our original baking mix in the first column. Um, however, 
it has a lower fat and xanthan gum content. So in other words, it's a dry of blend that adds a light, smooth texture whose characteristics create a good base of neutral flavor for a fluffier structure and texture to build upon. Home-baked bread, both conventional and bread machine versions, uh, will have more rise ability. As such, it will help produce a taller loaf of bread. More importantly, as I previously mentioned, all published recipes based on well plan can be substituted cup for cup with improved texture and results based on the well plan replacement project. And um, lastly, just a little trivia, wheat starch, such as in all of our baking products, has a place in mainstream food and manufacturing industries and practices. Um, wheat starch is used um, as both a stabilizer and it extends shelf life of mainstream baked goods and products. So here are my top picks for when you're in the first column, new to low protein foods. These are basic pantry staple recommendations that introduce new families on diet to some of the essentials that will similarly match the high protein food equivalent products that the rest of their family would consume. Um, our home style bread, for example, the first product ever produced by Canberra can be consumed in a variety of ways that could actually include three meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then there's Mixed Quick, um, as previously mentioned, was actually um, the second product I ever produced for Canberra. And why? Because in addition to bread, it's one of our most versatile products in uh, Canberra's uh, low protein food portfolio. As an all purpose batter mix modeled after Bisquick, it has literally hundreds of delicious uses for babies' first food, um, on up to delicious meals for adults with distinguished palates. And then second, which is uh, the second column, families on a budget. These items can be stretched with basic ingredients by just adding liquid, which is necessary to produce meals made with each of these products. From there, you can stretch with basic ingredients found in your fridge, such as fruit, berries, uh, veggies, sauces, low protein cheeses, uh, et cetera. So I highlight these products for the budget conscious family because while they're still basic pantry items, they really go a long way. And what I'd like to point out as an example is that a single serving of rice, for example, packaged dry, is 50 grams weight. Cook that rice with water and that serving amount just grew from 50 grams dry weight to almost 90 grams cooked weight. That's a healthy serving size. So now add sauteed onions, celery, garlic, and, and, and or other veggies. Uh, which are super inexpensive, could add another 50% to that one single serving. This concept works across each of these products I've listed here in both um, the second column, but it also works in the first column. And then I'm going to jump to the third column um, if you have an adventurous palate. These items introduce you to some of Canberra's bolder flavors, some with an ethnic flair or spicy enhancement. Some recipe ideas from a couple of these products include my personal favorite, New England baked stuffed clams, because they can easily be made with Canberra's new seafood patty mix with real from the sea flavor when produced with store-bought clam juice versus water. And then this pierogies, they are delicious, um, cheesy, potato-filled dumplings that can be served traditionally with butter and sauteed onions or Polish style with sauteed onions and sauerkraut. So now I would like to turn the slide over to Bridget Tomek, one of Canberra's expert clinical specialists. Thanks, Bridget. As a dietitian who has worked with PKU patients, I have little experience cooking low protein foods or knowing what some of these foods look like. I think it is very important to show portion sizes compared to grocery store options. As you can see, all of Cambrook items are lower in fear protein per serving, 
Our mixed quick waffle is almost double the size of Van's gluten-free waffle, and you get quite a bit more of chicken nuggets made from our chicken patty mix compared to Dr. Prager's Broccoli Little. In addition to low fee or protein and bigger portion sizes, Cambrook Foods offer additional nutrition benefits. Both our mixed quick and home style bread are higher in fiber and our chicken patty mix has an added vegetable blend. Today, Lynn will talk more about the development of these foods and why it's so important to her. Back to you, Lynn. Thanks. So, did you know that when we create low protein food products that find their way to your table, they are designed to maximize nutrition? My product development effort doesn't stop at just protein and fee and other offensive amino acids covering the range of metabolic disorders. They're designed to contain fiber, DHA omega-3 fatty acids that are necessary for brain function, natural flavorings and coloring that actually add additional benefits such as antioxidants and phytochemicals. In terms of fiber, the majority of Cambrook breads of which there are 11 different bread types in addition to our pizza crust and prepared pizzas. They contain at least four to five grams of dietary fiber per serving. So why is fiber so important? Fiber helps regulate the body's use of sugar, helping to keep hunger and blood sugar in check. In addition, dietary fiber is needed to keep the digestive system healthy, and it also contributes to other processes such as stabilizing glucose and cholesterol levels. Building nutrition into Cambrook's low-protein food products is my personal mission for you and my kids alike. So let me point out just a few of our products that contain a good source of fiber. Um, there are Go Pockets. They contain three grams of fiber. There's the cheese pizza. They contain five grams of fiber, pictured here. There are our medley meals barbecue bake, a whopping six grams of dietary fiber, toasted pierogies, or five grams of dietary fiber, and so on. So the main event in each of these products here are vegetables, which further lend themselves to optimizing your nutrition. Shared here are some tasty veggie-laden examples. Hamburgers. The first ingredient in this product are portobello mushrooms. Thai flavored medley meals contains a variety of vegetables and delivers five grams of dietary fiber. There are veggie meatballs with and without the cheese filled center. They contain mushrooms, butternut squash, yucca, sweet potatoes, and they have four grams of dietary fiber. There's the sausage patty mix. They contain a variety of vegetables and it is low in calories and delivers three grams of dietary fiber. And then the, um, the example of our veggie meatballs, in addition to many other Camber products that start with vegetables, not shown on this um, slide, um, are Brooklyn dogs, for example, uh, fresh filled ravioli, pierogi, amongst others. We bring in fresh vegetables, this is Camber. We bring in uh, fresh vegetables, not frozen and we cook them by hand in a deep steam jacketed kettle, which becomes the base for all of these low protein foods. They are as fresh as if you were, ha uh, were to have made them yourself from scratch. And lastly, our relationship with food is so important and I believe these veggie rich um, products will all help develop your young children's tastes um, for vegetables at a very young age. So food dyes and flavoring have been around throughout history and both have advantages and disadvantages, but it's really the disadvantages that show why people should use natural ingredients. Turmeric as a colorant found in our chicken consomme, shake and cheese, and our eggs, for example, produces a rich yellow color and comes from an Asian plant that is a part of the ginger family, although it doesn't impart a ginger flavor. Um, it is both colorful, and I can tell you um, that there's no shortage of health claims about the active ingredient in turmeric known as curcumin. 
Did you know that our eggs contain soy lecithin, which provides a rich source of the essential nutrient choline, um, which choline, excuse me, which is grouped with the B complex vitamins? There is evidence that the essential nutrient found in lecithin and choline may play a role in memory and cognitive function as well as liver function. In fact, it's the yellow lecithin granules that, in addition to paprika and turmeric, is responsible for building the rich yellow color into our eggs product. It does not contain FDNC yellow number five. Um, truly, flavor and color solutions from fruits, vegetables, and edible plants are important characteristics that influence my own purchasing decisions, and I expect no less for Canberra consumers. So DHA is an essential omega-3 fatty acid necessary in supporting brain function and eye health. Why is it essential? Because your body can only make a small amount of DHA from other fatty acids. So you need to consume it directly from food. Dietary sources of DHA are algae, fish, fatty fish type, shellfish, eggs, flax seeds. But you know what? If you don't consume these DHA enriched products, they must be fortified in your low protein foods and beverages, or they must be supplemented. So Campbell considers those needs for you too. Here are some examples of foods that contain a whopping 32 milligrams of DHA per serving. Our Brooklyn dogs, veggie and cheese filled meatballs, our chicken nugget alternative called tweaks, and our corny dogs. In the example of Brooklyn dogs again, they are nutrient rich from natural vegetables. They contain inulin, which significantly increases calcium absorption contains 32 milligrams of DHA omega-3 per serving, four grams dietary fiber per serving, only 80 calories, and only 3.5 grams of total fat. So just a little fun fact about how I arrived at flavoring the Brooklyn dog. A dear friend, a neighbor, a food scientist, and business owner who actually mentored me in the early days of Canberra. He is the owner of a major spice importing and blending company. Developed, um, he developed the unique spice blend that goes into um, the very famous Fenway Park hot dog. Fenway Park, for those that don't know, is the home for the Boston Red Sox, the American Major League Baseball team. Anyway, as a personal favor to me, he developed a comparable flavor blend for our own Brooklyn dogs. So our foods um, were and continue to be developed with the idea that they have multi-purpose preparations. Although each product package offers a single use directions panel, you don't have to be limited to that recipe. It's merely a suggestion, it's your product and you get to make it your way. And to provide additional ideas, um, it's also important for you to know that Canberra's website offers dozens, if not hundreds, of recipes in multiple languages for each of our multi-use products. I personally create tons of recipes that get uploaded to Canberra's website, um, uh, to our website recipe page, but our territory managers, including Allison Traeger and Bridget Tomic, who are with us today, are fre frequent contributors too. But you know what? The community submits recipes too. And with Canberra's highly specialized R&D nutrition software program, we're able to provide you with all the nutritional info and amino acid values for each of our published recipes. And I know it can be overwhelming to have so many recipes available. So I would really like to explain just a little bit um, on how to search recipes on Canberra's website. So on our home page, you will see the recipe tab. Click on that and choose low protein from the drop down. It will take you to the page that looks like this slide. On the left column, it says search recipes by ingredient 
products or by category. Click the arrow and it will list every one of Canva's products in alphabetical order. Click the Canva product you wish to make a recipe from. For example, next click and then click search and it will list all the recipes we have for that one product. On the other hand, you can search recipes by category, such as appetizers, desserts, side dishes, um, et cetera. It's really quite simple and I urge you to play around with it. it, it it's, it's easy. Um, and then you can also search recipes from your metabolic formula, which offer amazing creative ideas. And all these great recipes are available in French and Spanish too. And lastly, new to our recipe database feature are so many awesome recipe videos which are accessible now in the same recipe tab, which you can see circled at the, the top right hand uh, side of your screen. Uh, please check it out. So here I share some uh, different ways in which to prepare varying recipes using one single camper product, and in this case, it's our chicken patty mix, or really, um, to be honest, any of our other patty mixes, such as the burger, sausage, or new to the category of the seafood patty mixes, as these all provide similar functionality. So in terms of these new dry uh, meat alternative blends, I want you to think outside the box and think of that patty mix, not only a mix for making burger patties, but also as a binder, kind of like the glue or adhesive that holds all of your ingredients together. When used as a binder, say with diced vegetables, a small amount of mix with a little water or broth, the mix will hold all those veggies together, help provide structure, texture, help hold its shape and hold the moistness inside. It'll provide ease for slicing, freezing, and cooking without losing its shape and texture of your finished product. So pictured in the first image is a veggie laden meatball. Although my directions to add a little mix to your veggies with a small amount of liquid may seem vague, but I swear you cannot screw this mix up. If your dough seems too dry, add more liquid. If it's too loose, add more mix. All of our patty mixes can also be cooked into crumbles too, which makes a great filling for lettuce wraps, quesadillas, tacos, nachos, or even in a pot pie or folded into an egg omelet. And then in the last slide, as a coating, sort of like um, breadcrumbs, this coating method with your mix in the right picture frame will help to seal in moisture when deep frying, pan frying, or baking. It also provides a crispy and delicious exterior, making your finished product much, much more attractive and just like their mainstream counterpart. In this method, um, it can be easily achieved by making a slurry using any of um, Canberra's baking mixes or even uh, cornstarch and a little liquid such as water or broth. Um, coat your veggies well in the slurry. And in the case of the third slide, again, I demonstrated broccoli and then dredge in your chicken patty mix. Your veggies can be then deep fried, uh, fried in a pan, baked at 400 degrees with a spritz of cooking spray, or they can also be cooked in the air fryer. The result is simply amazing and the whole family will want to share just past the dipping sauce. So, Eating plenty of fruits and vegetables is the cornerstone of good health, but far too many people have trouble putting that knowledge into practice. Preparation time, unfamiliarity, and old habits are certainly barriers to eating more fruits and vegetables. Here are some suggestions for tipping aside these barriers and enjoying delicious and nutritious foods. I promise you that these are tasty. They are super easy to produce. They are delicious and they are nutritious, low protein foods. So check out these waffles on the top. They are produced with Mix Quick uh, to make a variety of delicious, nutritious recipes, including carrot waffles, pear, 
kale cucumber, uh, kale cucumber waffles, and apple pumpkin granola waffles using a jar of stage one organic baby food purees for each of these varieties. Babies love them, and once again, they introduce little ones to healthful ingredients early on. And these waffle types can easily be prepared with raw ingredients for adults just the same. In fact, the recipe developer, Bridget Tomek from Canberra, who's with us today, uh, devoured every one of these waffles she made for the photo shoot. Allison Traeger of Canberra, uh, here with us as well, paired our seafood patty mix sliders um, on the left corner um, with colorful, delicious coleslaw. Cameron and Brooke, too, used the patty mix for all kinds of delicious creations, including taco meat, burgers, nuggets, fried patty mix croutons um, on top of their favorite kale Caesar salad. Um, Italian bris uh, bruschetta on the bottom right is a staple and family favorite in my home. Uh, this here is toasted artisan bread topped with all kinds of delicious toppings, including low protein cream cheese, grilled onions and garlic, roasted garlicky tomatoes and basil, and even fresh figs. I don't have a slide here uh, to represent um, this, but get in the habit of being a big dipper. Try mashed avocados with garlic, diced tomatoes, onions, salt, and seasonings as a dip for your low-protein grilled bread or raw veggie sticks, uh, which is really Brooke's every single day go-to favorite. Pictured here is a typical family meal in my home. In fact, it's an image I took um, of one of my recent dinners at home with Cameron and Brooke. And here on the left are grilled veggies of all kinds, and they are the main course. And they can be paired with any number of products, including rice, pasta, grilled bread. If a meat or a fish is desired by our other family members, um, that becomes the side dish. Included here are grilled onions, zucchini, colored peppers, and plantains. We change up the flavor to keep it from getting boring. Some examples of interesting seasonings we use are smoky chipotle, cilantro lime garlic, Montreal steak rub, Indian curry, garlic ginger lemongrass, or simply garlic salt and pepper. Each of these grilled vegetables here are always seasoned slightly different, so they bring their own uniqueness to the main event. Alongside of this would either be a rice dish, pasta, grilled seasoned bread, freshly made pizza dough prepared on the barbecue, or our favorite, grilled tortillas with sides of guacamole, caponata, homemade fresh salsas, whatever. Sauces, I gotta tell you, Sauces are a really big hit in the diet. And by the way, um, in the example of the first slide, um, I got those grilled marks on my zucchini and plantain pictured here by slicing them with a fancy crinkle cutter knife, which you see on the lower right-hand side, and cooking them in a skillet. It costs about $10. So this is a very old picture of me with Cameron and Brooke, and it was taken by the Boston Globe newspaper uh, when Cambrook, the company, first started. But what I want to get across here is that when Cameron and Brooke were little, I pulled up a stool in the kitchen and I invited them to cook with me. Initially, they were really keen observers, but that quickly led them to using their own hands to scoop, measure, uh, measure, cut, mix, pour, season, toast, and being able to follow along with the recipe. Kids love creating, and I believe the earlier they get engaged, the more likely they will love what they have, in a, hand, uh, have a hand in preparing. And I hear restricted diet all the time, and yes, I agree, it is rest restricted to an extent, but I am a firm believer that there is so much more that people with, uh, on a low protein diet, I believe there's more that they can have than what they cannot have. 
So I've been asked um, by a group of people from Cambrook, but more so from the community, to share some examples of my family's personal favorites, which I have done here. And what um, I want you to notice is that the majority of what is placed on our dining table are all plant-based. So in the first slide, um, I'll share with you what they are. There's grilled portobello mushrooms, sauteed garlicky spinach, sliced grilled hearts of palm, which look like baby scallops and invented by Brooke. They are so super delicious. There's grilled sliders made with Cambrook seafood patty mix, collard peppers, uh, grilled fresh artichokes, garlic toast with my own homemade cilantro butter. And then in the second slide, there's marinated olives and tomatoes, grilled asparagus and mushrooms, my homemade coconata made with fresh eggplant, Cambrook grilled tortillas, which I want you to know so much better when heated on the barbecue, smack on top of the gas stove, like literally over an open flame, or heated in a dry or oil pan um, with or without seasoning. Heating up that tortilla makes such a huge difference. It makes it really soft and pliable and tasty. Um, brings out more of the natural flavors. Not sure what else was on the table that night because I didn't capture all that we made, but the meal was complemented with a nice glass of bubbly on the right. <laughs> and lastly, while it's not always feasible, we do make a point in my family to eat together most days. So here's a hamburger topped with a Worcestershire sauce and melted butter marinated grilled onion steak, so like an onion steak. Um, and it is on top of sprouts on a toasty camber bagel. Um, and another of Cameron and Brooke's favorite on the right side are camber pierogies with garlic sauteed spinach. In case you hadn't noticed, my family really loves garlic. <laughs> on the left are Mexican rice and cheese filled jalapeno poppers made with short grain rice and shredded cheese. Um, on the right, you've heard of pigs in a blanket. These are pigs and ponchos, and they're made with um, grilled Brooklyn dogs, which are wrapped in a grilled Cambrook tortilla with fried onions. If you wish to try this or any other filled or pan-fried tortilla or burrito style um, wrap, always place the burrito seam side down in a preheated pan. Make sure the pan is hot because this will help to seal or lock that seam and keep from opening up and releasing all of your filling. And so now I would like to turn the slide over to Allison Traeger, who has planned a, um, a, a week's worth of meal options. Allison? Allison? Maybe some audio problem? Oh, sorry about that. So, so, so many times we hear from families that they struggle with finding different and creative menu ideas with low protein foods. We completely understand that and appreciate that, which is why I wanted to create uh, a menu to show you that by purch purchasing just five of our low protein food items, you can make an entire week's worth of dishes for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So the five items are mixed quick, burger patty mix, our short grain rice, pasta, and chicken consomme. And these are all shelf-stable and uh, cost under $100, which can easily provide you with at least two weeks' worth of different meals. So for breakfast, you can use our Mix Quick to make a basic muffin recipe and then add different ingredients from your kitchen, like bananas, strawberries, blueberries, or even just add some simple spices like pumpkin spice. Then these can be kept in the freezer and taken out in the morning to enjoy. For lunch, our short grain rice is a great option as it's low in fee and by adding different ingredients, like Lynn had mentioned, like vegetables, you can have a different meal each day. 
As you can see in the middle, this is a recipe using our new thermos method for cooking rice. Uh, you can make it in the morning, and by lunchtime, you have a hot meal for work or for school. And our burger patty is fantastic because by adding different spices, you can travel the world with different flavors from Asia, Italy, and Mexico. All of these recipes can be found on our website. They're easy to make. They don't require a lot of ingredients. And many can be made in bulk and kept in the refrigerator to use during the week or placed in the freezer. Thanks, Lynn. Thank you. And I just have to add something to that. You know, um, I'll tell you, having a low protein diet, I've always said this, um, it does not mean that you are on a lifelong diet of bad tasting foods. These recipes that Allison created, they, they look amazing and they're so easy and versatile and inexpensive. Thanks again, Allison. So wouldn't it be great to pull something you know that they're gonna really like out of the freezer that's healthy and wholesome instead of overly processed or even worse, that doesn't exist in your household freezer because of lack of variety? Uh, veggie patties, nuggets, veggie meatballs, are great single serve freezer meals in the meat alternative category. They reheat perfectly and I love the satisfaction of cooking once and serving numerous times. Multiply and freeze for later use and uh, or for later heat and serve meal options. All of Canberra's patty mixes when prepared can be stored in the freezer uncooked, but will require thawing upon um, taking out of the freezer um, and then, and then uh, cook according to your package instructions. Or if gently cooked prior to freezing, they can just be reheated by placing frozen in a preheated 350 to 400 degree oven until completely heated through. So simple freeze-thaw batch cooking items could include recipes produced with our patty mixes, baked goods produced with all of our baking mixes, such as breads, cakes, muffins, cookies, biscuits, waffles, recipes made from our eggs, such as frittatas, ego-like waffles, numerous short grain rice dishes, etc. various sweets made from all of our dessert mixes, they all freeze well. Um, Items um, seen in the second column that don't freeze or reheat well are pastas. They simply fall apart, and I think our, <laughs> our viewers know this. Noodle-type uh, soups won't do well either. Our fresh-filled pastas, which are frozen, they were frozen items to begin with, they don't usually he uh, reheat well um, after they've been cooked um, as they tend to stiffen up. So just trying to let you know what, what freezes well and cooks and just what doesn't heat well. And so for those of you that know this fun fact, um, glycaptin. Glycaptin is the world's first ever protein formula for PKU that is made from a natural whole protein derived from whey called glycomacropeptide, GMP for short. GMP is produced during the cheese making process and it is the only natural, uh, naturally occurring protein that does not contain any phenylalanine in its pure form. The natural absence of C in this unique protein makes it ideal for the PKU diet. Glycaxin was developed by Cambrook in collaboration with the University of Wisconsin-Madison um, until the introduction of glycaxin in 2010, PKU formulas were always made of 100% synthetic, man-made, free amino acid proteins. Studies have shown that natural intact proteins like um, GMP have a slower absorption rate in the body and an improved protein usage when compared with single amino acids, which mimic whole intact proteins. The result is a better tasting, nutritionally and physiologically better for you line of liquid, powder, and nutrition bar products. And with every new development at Canbrook, I have two very, very tough critics, Cameron and Brooke, that judge the quality of our products on each and every level. 
if they don't look good, smell good, taste amazing, and packaged in a way that doesn't look mainstream, they don't pass. These products are designed to meet their needs and the needs of others like them. Like Lipatin, these amazing products are available for people with tyrosinemia too. They are available um, under the name of Tylactin. A unique benefit of glycactin is that you can literally savor your creation uh, when produced into food and dessert products like the ones that are shown in this slide. And unlike amino acid formulas that cannot be heated, otherwise they become denatured and no longer nutritionally beneficial, you can actually bake with our, our GMP-based formulas because they are intact whole protein and the natural quality of the protein does not become altered. You will learn about these creations seen here and more in the virtual cooking classes you sign up um, with, uh, for with uh, Canberra's team of expert metabolic dietitians. And if you would like to learn more about these, um, these events, please reach out to Canberra and uh, we, will, we will create one for you in your region. And so I want to thank uh, you all so very much for allowing me to share a glimpse of our low-protein food product line with you and teach you about the many uses they bring to my family each and every day. I hope this has been helpful for you. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Allison and Bridget. Have a great day.